You going to Diddy Hop party or not? Nah? A Diddy party or oh, the freak off? Actually, you going to go to Diddy party? Yeah. You going to a Diddy party or what? Podcast. I'm back outside. I'm here with it's your boy Letterman. Yes, sir. We already had him on here before. If you're a true subscriber, you know. You going to Diddy show? You going to Diddy Hop party or not? Nah? You always ask some <laughs> random ass <laughs> questions. No, you I'm not going over there. All right, look. What do you like? I got ten stacks. You got coming to this party. You not letting him go. You not going to the party. All right. What's the specific? You mean coming in this party? What do you mean? I don't know. He ain't have you signed no NDA yet. Like it. I can't do it, man. I, I got a daughter. I and it's so. different, you I feel me? Kids. I, Anything, I know it's all allegations, allegedly, but <laughs> in the meanwhile, we're going to lead the way by, you know, staying Gangster. away from predators or, of any sort. Now, I'm going to ask you this. What's the dirtiest, who, who got the dirtiest bitches in Mass? You tell me what city, what state. What city? And what city in Mass? Yes. Dirtiest bitches. Damn, I love y'all. Y'all know I love all my women. Ah. But some of y'all are shysty out here. Where the shystiest? I want to know. Alright, here we go. Yo, New Bedford. Ah, New Bedford, yeah. Yeah, you ruined my whole Jeez. experience out there. Oh, oh, go you going to a Diddy party or what? A Diddy party? Oh, the freak off the crazy. <laughs> freak off the crazy. Ah, right, gangster, gangster. I said that non disclosure. Yo, gang, I'm gonna ask you this last one. Who got the dirtiest bitches in mass? What city? We wanna know. We wanna know. Honestly? We're the dirtiest bitches in the, in the, in the city. Oh, the dirtiest? The dirtiest bitches in mass. Oh, Where they man. reside. Man, man, now you put me on the spot. I can't do that. I love my city, so all our bitches are bad as shit. Oh. I know people fly out to Boston. The lot detective determined that was a lie. He said New Bedford. No, ah. Actually, you gonna go to Diddy Party? Ah, look at that. You going to a Diddy Party or what? No. Gangsta, we ain't going to no Diddy Party. <laughs> so the Mel's, we outside. We at Culture Day 2024. You already know we, we rocking with our sponsors, Kingdom of Royale. You got my boy Eric, you see him working. And you know, this is what we doing, man. You see the merch, we got some of the hats on display. Shirts, shorts, he working, man. If you outside, man, and you need some gear, you know where to come. Look at, look at, look at the quality, man. Look at the sweater quality. We got some. Have you the Celtics fan? You know, repping on for the city. You got the Celtics edition. You also got some shorts. It feel like it's some some workout too. You can work out in these. I feel like too. Look, this is hard. So you see the man himself. He putting in the work. You always want to with a rock with a business where where the, where the owner's gonna be putting in the same work as everybody else, man. It's beautiful, bro. Look at some of these jackets, man. Look at the quality, man. Look at the quality. Look at the quality. I actually like this one a lot. I seen Eric drop this one on his on his on his on his on his IG. Well, my favorite piece probably got to be this one right here. This your favorite piece of the new collection right yeah. here. Ooh. This is my favorite piece right here. Show the inside too. Oh, you yeah. see the back? The thread work is crazy with the K wall on the back. And then you know these are some of my favorite pants right here. Like Go along with the shit. dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Fly shit only. Material. Last shit only. As a designer, how are you? How are you trying to challenge yourself to kind of grow? What are, what are you trying to make? Are you trying to make certain like different pieces? Yeah, you know what I mean. As a child, as a designer, the way I try to challenge myself is to stay unique and do me because I feel like within fashion, it's very trendy. People see something that's popping, everybody's doing Jump it. Jump on it. And then you can find every brand got this, some different style with their logo yeah. or that shit. So I literally just try to stay genuine to what I want to see mm -hmm. and like. You know what I mean? What I want to produce. That's yeah. the biggest thing that I feel like kind of sets me apart. Stay you know what I mean? Because I try to stay away from trends sometimes. Yeah. It's good, obviously, to stay, you know what I mean, stay with trends day, and follow because you, you. Yeah, you still got to make sure you ain't going too far. Absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's about just staying true to myself, man. And I, I think that's one of the things that your, your, your work represents. Work. When people see me rocking your shit, they always ask me, hey, what's the dragon mean? Or hey, what's that mean? Like, exactly. you always give, your symbols mm -hmm. are always speaking louder than anything exactly. else. Exactly. So that's what's dope. Nah, that's, yeah, I and appreciate And the colors. It. I love the colors. Yeah. Now, nah, symbology is everything in, with, with my brand, no bullshit. From the logos, even sometimes to the fabric, it's like, it's always a meaning behind it. No Gangsta. bullshit. Gangsta. I see these shorts. 
Oh, yeah. These shorts right here, these kind of look a little dry fit. Like I can wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These. Oh yeah, for sure. You these know, we hard. definitely try to hit all lanes from you know what I mean, sport, leisure, mm -hmm. high fashion, mm -hmm. streetwear. We definitely try to. These two. Yep. Some nice sport. Dry fits. These are hard. Those got the 3M on it, and these are similar. 3M with the line. 3M stripe. Are these reflective? The, yep, reflective. 3M. You know, some Look nice joggers. Too. Yeah, with the zippers on the ankle uh, zip. Details. She makes clothes for not only, if you a simple guy like me, sometimes you want to just throw on some joggers, you want to throw on some shorts, and run, take a run, you got those. You want to hop outside and be on some fly shit, you got that. Exactly. Everything you need, man. Yeah, we, we got a lot of flavors, man. So, you know, come shop with us. He's a busy man right now, so I'm going to let him get back to work. Eric, respect. Appreciate you, bro. Definitely. Know if you ain't is. here this year, make sure you're here next year. KOR. You're gonna also gonna put the link in the bio. Use our coupon code. You feel me? We outside, baby. That's what we doing. Some more of my favorite vendors. We here with Mug Baby himself. This shit been flying off the racks, as you can see. Everywhere I go, I see somebody with some Mug Baby on, and that's fire. Pick one, pick one too. Funny story. We met him back a couple months ago. When we was at my boy Vaz. Vaz, baby, what's up? We met him back there. He was still grinding, and now his shit even took it to another level. All different colors, as you can see. All different type of wear, apparel, and that's really dope. What would you say is your favorite piece right now out of your new collection? What's your favorite piece? I'm going to say this because this is what made me popular. The hoodie? Yeah. I see this. Yo, let me tell you. I see this everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, this I is what made me popular. I see this everywhere, and I see this new shirt, the new logo. Yeah, that's, a new, yeah, that's new. That you as a baby? Nah, I've been had that logo, but people used to say, like, it's cartoonish. So yeah. then I switched it up. So nah, I can make this, so. I can make design. One thing I really noticed about your, 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 your clothing that does really well is you got colors. Yeah, Maybe yeah, emphasize, like yeah, emphasize like that, how important that is, kind of. I, it's amazing for me because I only wear my clothes. Like, if you ever see me, it's yeah. like this, and my clothes only. Yeah. Anytime, it could be anywhere, you're only going to see me my stuff. So I just do flavors. Do the flavors. I wear, and yeah. I think people will wear. And then, yeah, I just like giving people options. Big, big, big. So, if you can give advice to one one person, young person watching right now that might want to start creating clothes, who would you say should be the first step before I let you go? I'm an example. I was watching somebody that did it, and I look at me now. And if what you, we? If somebody can do it, you can do it too. You just gotta put your mind to it and really like make people believe in your shit. Cause at the beginning they're not gonna show love, but once you get the love and you see the support, that's gonna make you grind harder. And, and now you're making stops to the postal area every fucking day, gangster. <laughs> Keep Thank covering you. this shit all day, man. Okay. But believe in yourself. That's all you take away from this. Believe for in sure, yourself. For sure. Believe in yourself. Make them believe in your dreams. It's Gangsta. your dream. Thanks. You know, it's Fully Loaded Podcast. We're still outside. We at Culture Day 2024. I'm here with Miss Jenny. How you doing? I'm good. How good? are you? I'm doing good. So you want to talk a little bit about your, uh, I see you have a bikini line. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. So, my name is Jenny. I'm the owner of Stay Golden by XD. Uh, so initially, we are a tanning company. Uh, I have a tanning studio located in Marlboro, Mass. But I do also have my own bikini line. Specifically Brazilian bikini. These look good, let me tell you. Let me tell you. She be posting them with people, they look good. So the neon <laughs> bikinis, that's this season bikinis. And then I have my black and white collection okay. that came out last year. Okay. Um, I love all of them. Honestly, I don't have a favorite. You don't have a favorite, okay. I wear every single one. Okay, okay. What I have be, to. Let me ask you this. What would be the most high demand? Peace. The most high demand is the black one. Ooh. So obviously one because it's black, but if you look at it, look at it kind of has this like leatherish quality to That's it. Fire. So the girls love it. That's sexy. I ain't gonna hold you. So that one's like the number one uh, top Shit. seller for sure. This, this some, some uh, what's that movie called? What's that movie called? Uh, 50 Shades. That's some 50 Shades shit. 50 My girl got that on. 50 Shades of Grey? I like that. Yo, listen. It's beautiful, and I see you got visors too to I go got match. Some visors to match. You look at my girl, my model wearing. Wow. Her. So she has the matching uh, bikini and the visor. So I also see most of your models, they fit as hell. Are you into fitness? So, yeah, I'm definitely into fitness. They're all from Miami. We actually shot ah. it in Miami. So, as you can tell, we don't have palm trees here. So, <laughs> that was over there. What would be your advice to young girls watching at home if they were interested in getting into stuff like this? What would be your advice? One thing. Um, number one, just believe in yourself. Follow your passion. Don't listen to anybody. Like, Thanks, listen sir. to your inner voice. You know what's best. Follow your intuition. That's always going to guide you to what you need to do next. Yes. And the more you learn, the more you want to learn. And that's just going to deepen that passion. So just keep going because... Keep going. Once you're 
deep in it, like you're so deep, like you're not gonna wanna stop. Once you're deep in it, you're setting up photo shoots in Miami for your brand. That's gangsta. Exactly. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, it smells for the little podcast. We outside. We ran into Two Blunt TV. What's Woo. up, gang? Yeah, we out here, gang. Yes, sir. Gang, gang. Look, they got the car to pull up, too. Yeah, we got it up here. Make sure you guys check us out, twoblunt.com, at Two Blunt TV on all social yeah. media. We're out here covering Boston's underground talent. There's a lot of talent here, man. Check us out. Amen. Yeah. Look, we got some, they got some merch out here, well, too. Hoodies, merch. shirts. Make sure y'all out here, man. Yeah. What would you say for young people at home trying to start be content creators? What would be some advice you give them? Just go for it. Like, try to stay out of your mind and just put it out there. You never know who's feeling you. Yep. That's what they're seeing. So put it out there. Hey, it's Mel's Fully Loaded Podcast. We back at Culture Day. I'm here with the person who designs all her merch. You know what I'm saying? Bill side. What's up, my guy? How you doing, baby? Everything's yeah. good. This is my What's first up? time always. here too, cause Bill handles. Yeah, he handles all the. But I always stuff. see you. I always see you on the podcast. Yeah, I do the crazy you, stuff. I'm outside. He put me on the crash message. He put me on the crash message. He be out here. Can you talk about your business a little though? When you start and what got you into? Man, we started in 2012. Oh, okay, you've been going we, for a while now. Man, I, I can't even tell you when I. That's gangster. Really, 2012. Yeah. So we started with just doing our own clothing line, mm-hmm. but it was something like I wanted to do something more personal, mm-hmm. more community like. Focus, so mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? Let me let me target this, and then that stemmed from just doing clothing line, mm-hmm. my personal joint, to everybody, everybody else's. Everybody else's. With your own merch, what kind of got you to like, you know, start wanting to work on other people's like? Honestly, somebody would come, hey, could you add my name? Mm-hmm. Could you add the number? It comes to the little things, exactly. Like, the and then I was like, man, I could just do a whole mm-hmm. line yeah. and just do everybody else's stuff, and not really of my stuff. So yeah, it was and just, this shit's good quality too. Like I yeah, love my we, hoodie. I gave my mom my hoodie because so she could rock it around a little sick. bit. It's fire, you know. You got the reflectors on there too. You yes, feel sir. me? Like yes, it's sir. lit. And I think we even did one zip up with you. Yeah, so it's fire. Always, That's always. It. Whenever he comes in, uh-huh. I know what time it is. You I got take him. Care of him. Always. So what would be one uh, a piece of advice? What would be one piece of advice you give young fellas right now or young women that are watching that might want to get into printing? Stay resilient. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Remember your why. That's important. Remember why you started. It don't. It don't gotta be a gazillion dollar company. It's like something that if you're able to feed your family, somebody else's family. You know what I mean? It's like right now I got a staff of seven people. Mm-hmm. You know that I gotta worry about. Mm-hmm. It's not just me. So it's just you gotta keep going because it's bigger than just you. Absolutely. 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 Facts. Well, look. If he needs anybody else on the staff, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, We're driving you, Bill. Uh, Side cousins, yeah. The man in the middle. Fucking right. legend. What's up, doggy? How's everything? We got some new ink. Oh, I got stabbed Oh, oh Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this with you for? You don't want to community work. You don't get stabbed into it. Gangster. Gangster. You already know who that is. We ain't even got it. You know what I mean? He's trying to dab up boots. You already know who he is. I love y'all. This is, this is Robin Hood. Mr. Save the Hood. You already know. Feed the Hood. Voices of Liberation. It's our brothers. You know what I mean? I seen, I seen y'all do Heal the Hood earlier, too. Mm-hmm. And you just came from that and just came here? Yep. You don't ever stop moving. You don't ever stop anything. moving. You gotta go support the gang. You know what I'm saying? Help us monetize off our gifts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole other layer. Mm-hmm. And Thanksgiving's coming up, so you already know what time it is. We're gonna be outside with them again. I ain't missing one Thanksgiving. Now, nah, you already know. We outside, man. Trust me. Trust me. 700 mils. Trust me. 700 mils. He ain't talking about his neck, because I know it hurts. <laughs> <laughs>